G'day everybody, my name is Mel Spikes and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Let's go fishing. Absolutely cracker. I can't say the same for my boat which is a freaking pigsty. I'm gonna sort it out and we'll get going. I'm alive. What a day it's gonna be. Okay, so before I go, I'm just going to upgrade my half pilly setup to the NS Black Hole Amped 3 flatty rod. So this has been my half pilly rod for many years. The NS Black Hole Amped 2 Flatty Rod. We are going to go to the Amped 3. ATC Virtuous 3000 there. It's red and black. Wow, matches my boat. What are the chances? That's glamour. That's absolutely glamour. I'll get it sorted and I'll show you what I'm going to do with the old Amped 2 Flatty Rod, aka old half pilly rod. Okay, pilly rod is done. This is my old pilly rod, which is now going to house a very old but very memorable ATC Valiant 4000. Spooled with 16 pound full mono. I'm going to use this for snapper as well as my snapper rod. So we're going to have two rods now and I'm going to see how the pilly rod goes. Being a three to six kilo dropping deep for snapper, I think it's gonna do all right. I think I'll get a lot of hookups. I think I'll get a lot of bust offs, but I think it's gonna be a lot of fun trying to catch those big snapper on a really light outfit, which is what I love doing the most. The lighter the gear, the bigger the fish, the happier I am. That's a 50 or a 60 gram Cyclops. We'll put that on this rod and we'll use it offshore. If you don't know what the Cyclops is, that's it there. Homemade by me. <laughs> Never thought I'd put it on the half pilly rod, but first time for everything.
let's get going. Beautiful, nice and clean now. All right, let's do this. If you're new to this channel, I am a solo fisherman out of Botany Bay and I travel as far as Long Reef and Balambi out of Botany Bay. If you are returning, you are crazy. Thank you for joining me again. Today we're going to go offshore and we're going to see if we can find some snapper. I just had my major service. Yeah, that is on the screen. That's pretty random. The first thing I got to do not crash refuel is done beautiful it's really 180 litres but I set it to 160 it is a glass out it's a total glass out Let's go. and no wind. It is freaking sloppy. A lot of birds. The, um, the filming is not going to be comfortable for you guys. It's going to be very rock and roll. So take a seasick tablet like I have and sit back and relax. I hopefully can catch some snapping here off Kernel. There's a lot of birds. That's a lot of bird activity. I've never seen so many birds off Kernel. And the water is so damn clean. Wow. Okay. This is going to be a very hit and miss. It's either going to go off or it's going to shit. Where am I? I'll head, I'll head that way, a bit deeper, and we'll drop some pillies down and see how we go. I'm excited. I'm actually excited. Ugly conditions. Not the worst, but sloppy as. What I'm looking for is some bait. I can see some marks. They're fish. I want to see some bait. And the moment I see bait, the Minn Kota's already deployed. Ooh. The moment I see bait, I'll spot lock right on top of it. Actually, I'm just going to start fishing right here. Stop. That looks alright. Okay, there's a couple of pillies. There's a couple of pillies there that were fresh when I vacuum sealed them, but they were in blood. So they are sloppy, floppy, unhappy pillies.
that's the 40 gram baby cyclops i'm just going to give it a test see what the current's doing these pillies are going to be one hit wonders one hit and they're gone they are so soft and malleable if that's the word that is the word i'm thinking is the word but you never know until you try they are fresh they were never frozen before i froze them Let's see what happens that's 40 grams and it's going right down beside the boat whoa Okay, there's a bit of current. There's a little bit of current. I'm 25, 30, 35 meters down, and we've moved about three meters, if that. This is excellent. That's the bottom. That's actually the bottom, right there. Now I suppose you could hop this like a soft plastic, up, up, and that pilly will just dive on that cyclops head, and it'll just like hop. I'm going to move out and I'm going to look for some bait. Let's find some real thick bait and I think that's what we need to continue this session. Alright, Cyclops head. Let's do this. Fish all on. I've got the hook up. Yep. Oh, swimming straight up. Yep, got the hook up. That's a snapper. That's got to be a snapper. It's very small. It's very small or it's swimming straight at me. Oh, is that a moe? That's a moe. I haven't seen a moe for ages. Okay. First fish of the day off Kernel is a nice moe. That cyclops. That cyclops has done its job. Beautiful. Alright. That is a nice fish. It's going in the tank with the ducks. That rig, man. Let's see what else we can catch. Look at the hookup, guys. Straight through the schnoozle. Beautiful. in the tank it's gonna go
pumps are fixed. There you go. With the ducks. That's a fish on the half pilly. Oh, what the fuck is that? It's a puffy. It's a freaking puffer fish. <laughs> well, I don't know how to make them fat, but anyway, we're getting out of here. I can see him on the sounder, and we're gonna we're gonna get away from him. Try that. Let's go to the peak. The peak is not for the faint hearted, especially in conditions like this. It's eight nautical miles from here in a northeast direction. The wind is going to pick up dramatically from the north, which will mean it'll be an interesting drive back with the wind behind me, but it should be relatively safe. I'll punch out there and we'll see if we can't find another snapper like last session. That's me. That's where we're going. That way. So I'm almost halfway and it's calmed right down out here. Nothing like it was close to the shore. Looks alright, the water is dirtier here though. A little bit green. I'm just making a detour because this is new. This is new, look at the ledges. Look at those ledges. I'm gonna go see what's on these ledges. The peak is there. I've never seen this before. Look at the ledges. I don't know what this stuff is. I'm gonna creep towards it. But that looks so fishable. It's pretty deep, but it is halfway between land and the peak, basically. There's all these ledges I've never even freaking noticed. So far, it looks like just sand, though. That's just sand. I'll move towards it, and I'll see if I can drop a few baits down if the current's okay. <laughs> 80 meters versus 20 pound. Let's do it. It's just a series of bommies that look kind of weedy. But um, there's nothing going on, so I'm going to head to the peak.
Been here for almost an hour. Not a single hit, not a single touch. So, I don't know. I'll come back if something happens. Thirty-five gram Lumo sinker and a half pilly rig with a half pilly. Sixty, no, fifty-six meters off Bondi Beach. Which is actually that's Kuji, Kuji Beach. I'm gonna go for a little cruise. If anything happens, I'll come back, guys. Absolutely nothing. It has it has no bite in it whatsoever. Maybe it's just the ground. Oh, maybe it's just a Sergeant Baker. Big one. Big bloody. Okay. Freaking blood bath. since I caught a fish. I think the last fish was the Sergeant Baker. It's a really big scorpion. Just not having a good day today. I'm gonna keep it because we've got nothing else to freaking eat. But that is a nice one. Be careful of them, they are poisonous, they will spike you. That's where I am. drop the same bait down because it looks like it's still 
in fairly good condition. Kind of snappery, so I decided I'll just stop here. But it has been a long time. A long time. It's almost three o'clock. I'm going to go see what that thing is. I think I've got my rig back. The sounder looks incredible. But I've got to go see. Yeah, I've got it back. Look at the sounder. American football or it could be a balloon moving very quickly if it's a balloon I'm gonna be pretty fucking pissed off for fuck's sake It's a balloon. I can't get it. Sound looks alright here though. Might just drop a bait here. Check this out. Looks alright. There's the balloon. I should probably go back to that spot I marked because it looked really good. I'll just see what's here. We're getting shallow, 30 metres. I'm going to go back to that spot. Suss it out a bit more. Okay, it hasn't been, it hasn't been that long, it's been about 15 minutes and I've changed to the half pilly rig and I think this is a snapper. I'm hoping it's a snapper. It will be the first snapper of the day at 2.55pm. There's colour. There's a snapper. Yes! Where's the net? Fuck. Finally! On the freaking half pilly rig of all things. Yes! Yes! 
it's only taken six hours of fishing and about nine nautical miles traveled and we have a freaking snapper our first snapper of the day and it is a good one half pilly rig lumo uv glow pink sinker ha 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 yes what a hookup too it's in its bone wow okay there it is guys bondi beach snapper it's going in the tank with david and i finally have some mojo to continue this session let's see if there's any more here hello buddy on the new amped three flatty rod sounder just little fish here and there on the bottom bondi beach scared the hell out of me all right let's do this no more mucking around guys the half pilly rig is out and it is doing the job i've changed hooks too if these are con if these continue to be successful i'll tell you what hooks they are they're not the um, the octopus anymore. Half pilly and a half hitch. Half hitch. The tail. Like that. That is the rig. The sink is 28 grams or one ounce and I'm in 32 and a half meters of water. Very interesting. If I can get a few more snapper I'm just going to be so stoked. I'm already stoked but I'm going to be stoked up. More stoked. Stoked. gonna mark that too and the beauty is without the mono on my snapper rod I can see how far down to drop the line with my depth color braid it's making it a lot easier today's just not the cyclops day I don't think got you I think this is gonna be scorpion fish but that's okay because there's snapper here you don't just get a random snapper of that size by itself you'll get a few oh no pike If he opens his mouth you'll be able to see my whole pilly in there still and it's mad teeth <laughs> that is stinky pike Pilly head. 
through the eyes once, turn it around and then just through the back of the neck. Make sure you bring the point of the hook out, which you can just kind of see. one of the rubbish pillies on I'm just gonna half hitch the tail and let the whole thing dangle we might get a good hit out of that we might not get a hook up but I've got to do something with it I've got nine kilos of that crap at home it's just unfortunate that the pillies were soaked in blood by the time i got them they were they were no good probably make burly you guys want to see me make another burly video <laughs> I'm a scorpion. Nice big one. That's good food. Good fillets. Until we get more snapper, we're keeping the scorpions. That's not a freaking scorpion fish. What are you? wake up? Are you gonna wake up? You got power, I can feel something. Are you Sergeant Baker? Sergeant Baker bro. What's going on? Not waking up at all. Are you quiet? Is that why? Trag or Jew? Trag or Jew? Trag, I think. I'm hoping it's a freaking trag because it's not big enough for a jew. Okay. Okay. Trag, we have found the spot. Mm. 
We have found the freaking spot off Bondi Beach, 32 meters. I've called it Bond Bomb because it's a Bondi Bommy, and that is a nice, healthy, legal track. What a freaking session! It started off so bad. I'll um, get these. Oh, I probably can do it here. I'll get the hook out and we'll put it in the tank with David. We've got some good eating coming up for Easter, let me tell you. Yeah. New hook. Nice track. Almost lost the track. The M3 is doing all right too, guys. Flatty rod. Handling dragon freaking snapper. <laughs> hey little buddy. Okay, we're gonna do this the easy way. Oh, one more fish. One more fish, then we've gotta set up the big aquarium. It's another fish. It's another fish in this rock and roll session. I don't know what it is. I didn't even feel the first hit. It just went straight down, like it just went heavy. It could be a trag, another trag. It could be a scorpion fish. It could be a Sergeant Baker. Definitely not a snapper though. Oh, that's even more random. It's a freaking giraffe. It's a giraffe leather jacket. Look how I hooked it. Hello, little buddy. Oh, I don't know how. Oh, there you go. Oh, it actually swam away. Got a good feeling, guys. I'm gonna fish this spot until I run out of bait. Just leave that there. I'll show you something. Okay. That's the bommy, which I've called Bon Bomb. There's a ledge here. You can't see it now, but it goes in like, well, it might show you, it goes in like a sea. Here is 32 to 31 meters, 39, 42, 35, 33, and a little bit deeper, 34. I think it got to 35 there. This is a little bommy. It's like a little mountain with a huge drop off and bits of bits of a drop off around it. This is a pinnacle. This is what attracts fish. And this is where I'm catching the fish. You can see. I haven't fished that much of it. One, two, three, four, five. Five spots. That's how I find spots, guys. This is a new spot in the middle of freaking nowhere at Bondi Beach. Why is that bait still on? Anyway, I hope that helps. Um, clear up how I do things. That's this is this is a great example of just how I find random spots. That bommy looked all right when I sounded it out. It looked all right. I caught a fish on it. I moved. I caught another fish on it. I moved, and here we are. Let's see if we can catch another one. 
all I'm doing is dropping my bait to the bottom, making sure my sinker is on my swivel, and just leaving it down there. I'll lift it up and down every so often. I don't think the sinker is on the swivel. No, it's not. So I just keep doing this until I feel the sinker slide down. Which is... I got baited anyway. I don't know if you can see that line. I don't even know where the fella is. He's over there, but there's his mate. There's fucking blue bottles here. Always be careful you don't have blue bottle tenties on here. Look at them all. They're everywhere. They look like bubbles. Stay stuck, stay stuck. Yes. Oh, have I got the hook up? Yes. I got it. That was on the drop. It's a shaking fish. It's not big. Or it hasn't woken up. It's just dead weight with little vibrations. Almost felt like a bonito. Sudden baker. Hey, Sergeant. I'm going to put down this little midsection. Anyone else out there game enough to eat eight day old beef stroganoff? Most people I tell are grossed out. I don't see a problem if it looks good and it smells good, it's fine. Four centimeters give or take. Might set up the aquarium, guys. Set up the aquarium and I'll come back. No. My drag is tame. I'm in 32 meters of water. It's taken 40 meters of line. It's done three screamers before I got the camera. 
and I'm freaking glad it's still on for now. Big screaming runs, sitting really still, really deep, and the hookup was probably God damn. The hookup was probably at the 20 metre mark and it's just a freaking half pilly on the half pilly rig. I don't know what to do with this, it's probably a shark or something. And this is my brand new rod, first time out, NS Black Hole Amp 3 flathead rod. Good old flatty rod. It can handle so much, eh? I don't know if I've got the hook up. I don't know anything about this fish. All I know is that when it runs, it freaking runs. 30 meters of line out. It's just off the bottom. take my time guys if if it happens it happens if it doesn't it doesn't believe you me I've been in this position way more times than many others I get busted off so often it's crazy oh oh is the hook still in it yet just done a head shake and some line must have been wrapped around some part of the fish because I felt it released Well, we've got new colour braid coming up, green, green means I think 10, 10 or 15 metres to go. It's swimming straight up, it's swimming straight up, it's stopped, it's, it's realising what's going on, it's going towards New Zealand. <laughs> what a way to end the session. I think it's getting tired. And you know what? <laughs> it might be a freaking bonito. Or a tailor. Color. Is that a kingfish? It could just be a kingy. take a while. it's a big body and not a rat king they got teeth they got teeth now I'm nervous 
Don't run, don't run, don't run. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> Half pilly rig on a freaking 60 plus bonny. You can see the rig there in its mouth. Look at that. <laughs> That's incredible. I don't know if you can see the colours on it with the sun in its position. That is a beautiful bonny. Not what I was expecting, but kind of what I was expecting. Ooh. Ooh. I'll give it a quick measure and I'll let it go. That's a nice hook up. There's the rig. hundred meters from my mark somehow we went off spot lock so I'm just gonna drop this bait here and whatever happens happens then we'll get out of this rock and roll go back into the bay and head home gotcha Scorpion fish. Maybe not a scorpion fish. Maybe not. Freaking awesome to end the session on a fish. Might speak too soon, might not land it, but that's great. It's a great ending on the decomposing Philly. Where are ya? Decent cluddy. Hello. Bro, that is a decent ass trub. Flatty, not trevally, flatty. That big. Look at the hookup in the schnoozle. Wow. 50s, easy 50s. Okay, so, so, by, by drifting off that bommy, while fighting that bonito, we've left Gravel Reef, which is where we were getting the snapper, the trag, the Sergeant Baker, the scorpions. 
and we've come to what could be sand. That is one of the bigger models of flathead I've seen offshore. It's one of those offshore special ones, not a dusky. That's going in the aquarium. And how do I go home? I'm going to see if there's more. One extreme to another. I forgot to announce the winner of last video's competition, the Cyclops Rig Pack and the Spikes Singlet. I'll just make some room, I've learnt by now. Congratulations, you have won the Spikes Cyclops Rig Set and the Singlet. What you'll need to do is message me on Facebook or via email and tell me what size you are in that singlet and I will get it made personally just for you me and you will be the only people that have it besides imposter spikes so yeah congratulations i i'll do a comp later let's get back to the ramp See, if I didn't do that, the boat, the arse of the boat, would be down there by now. But now I can just quickly jump in, drive straight up the ramp. That bloody wind is right behind me. It's already swinging the boat. That's all I've kept guys, those are the fish that are coming home, I let go the um, scorpion fish, they're in there somewhere now, and that's it, time to go home as the sun goes down.
I just want to thank you guys for putting up with this um, episode, this video. It hasn't been an easy day for me and it definitely isn't a ordinary session. You might not have noticed, you might have noticed, but I'm not myself and today was very successful, which was great. I um, kept myself occupied for the entire day, which was well needed and we came up with a lot of fish, which is awesome and a new deep offshore spot off bondi for snapper trag the bonito was there that was great and then the flatty spot 100 meters from there so we've we've unlocked two new potential areas to fish which are really close and easy to access on a calm day so yeah there's a lot of positives my grandma died yesterday and we, we we were expecting it so it's not it's not a shock but it's still really sad and traumatic this is my last surviving grandma i have no more grandparents now and um it really hits home how precious life is and how how infrequently we take advantage of our days and i know i always say it enjoy your days while you got them and um, you know get out there and have a go whenever you can get the opportunity to do so and do what makes you happy follow your dreams we um we're reminded of that when when death comes into our lives but then we forget about it so my message to you guys is and continues to be enjoy life while you've got it enjoy your days do what makes you happy with the days you have left and even though life is like the longest experience of our life it's also pretty damn short if you're not doing things you enjoy so yeah i don't know if that made any sense um if it didn't i'm sorry if it did thank you for listening and understanding this session was all over the place and it wasn't even something i wanted to do but i figured you know what let's just keep it real keep it raw so i did and this is the outcome i'm gonna go back to that spot at bondi though and we're gonna suss that one out i'm gonna rename it after my grandmother because i think it's only fair right um we discovered that on our first journey out you know 24 hours after she's passed away so we're gonna name that spot after her and that'll be cool i'll remember her forever every time i drive past it'll be on my sounder so that'll be awesome anyway thank you for watching the code word for the competition in this video is i don't even have a word I want to I want to make a um, a personal shout out to Call Me Hank. I'm pretty sure his name's Call Me Hank. He wrote a complete song for Spikes, and it was like proper, like the intro, the bridge, the chorus. Like it was a fully structured, perfectly written song, which I would like to make into a real song somehow. So if any of you guys know how I can turn those lyrics into an actual musical song with music and singing i'm not going to sing um i will pay someone to do that that would be freaking awesome so call me hank thank you you fucking weirdo i absolutely love that song i shared it with my whole family and um i don't know if you guys have seen the movie the producers but there's a there's a little boogieing lady at the desk and um we call her the bialystok in bloom lady um we want we want people to dance like that in the video and somebody to sing maybe imposter spikes who doesn't talk can be the singer who knows but my family really loved it so yeah we want to create a song out of that if anyone knows let me know um code word code word i don't know i don't have a code word life leave me a comment with life what does life mean to you? What is life for you? What do you want from life? What has life given you that you don't want? Um, life related. Just the word life will do fine. Anyway, I've got to go home before it gets really dark. Please take care of yourselves. 
stay safe and have fun out there. We want to have more fun together. We want to have more days out there together. So yeah, take care, stay safe, have fun. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. And these videos are made because of you guys. If you guys didn't watch them and comment on them, I wouldn't even bother making them. I'll just go fish, forget the camera, forget the editing, forget everything and just do what I do. But because of you guys, you get to see this strange ass content. I love you all. I will see you on the next one. Cheers. Here we go, Baba. I will never forget you now. What a session.